Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. Alright, let's start a new arena run. Let's go. Let me try that again, apparently I pressed the button wrong. There we go. Rogue, 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 rogue. No rogue, but I'll take, uh, I'll take a warrior, yeah. I actually have a daily quest for a warrior. Good luck, thanks. All right. Mm, that juggler's damn good. Sun Sunwalker's damn good. Pine Size Summoner's pretty good, but uh, I'm gonna go with the knife juggler. Uh, let's go with Battle Rage. I do think Battle Rage is pretty good. I really do. I mean, in almost all cases, your character, your hero, is going to be damaged. So you're almost guaranteed one card. And, okay, so if you get one card for two, that's not very good. But if you have a single minion on the board of your own that's damaged, which, you know, there's, there's a very good chance you're going to have a situation where there's a single minion or more of yours damaged on the board. If that happens, you're getting two cards for two, which is pretty damn good. And then anything above that is just really, really good. So let's get that while it's available. Oh, no contest here. Fiery War Axe, hell yes. Hmm. I want the Ogre Magi. I don't. Let's go with the Youthful Brewmaster. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with him. Alright, Priestess of a Loon, do not like. Harvest Golem and Blood Sail Raider, both. Uh, both quite good, given that I have a weapon and there's a pretty good chance I'm going to get more. I'm going to go with that. Man, I really hope I get more weapons, because I'm going to bank on them. Heroic Strike is a ni nice bit of... Uh, if you don't have a weapon, it's kind of like having a weapon for one turn. And if you do, this will give you the reach to take out almost anything. But of course, if you need the reach... If you need an extra 4 damage to take out something, you're probably going to be taking a lot of damage. I don't know if you want to face tank something like a... a Boulder Fist Ogre. Alright, so I've got 4 2-costers. I would like more. But I have no higher costers, so... How good's a Silver Moon Guardian? 3-3 three, three for 4, with Divine Shield. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with that. Okay, I don't want another Youthful Brewmaster, that much I know. Let's go with the Dark Iron Dwarf. I have no three coster minions. I almost want the Heroic Strike. Ah, let's go with the minion. Hmm. Armor Smith. I still don't. Like, I haven't really seen that card played before. So I don't really know what to do with it, or whether it's even good. Give your weapon plus one, plus one. Is that good enough to justify a card? An extra one damage and an extra use? Does that justify an entire card? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Emperor Cobra is kind of nice. Because it, they really have to play around it. If they play anything big and scary, then you can just suicide this into it. And trade up. You know, trade a 3-coster for something much higher. Yeah, I don't really want to go with Armor Smith, so I think it's either that or Upgrade. Of course, if you don't have a weapon, it gives, it, uh, it gives you a weapon that's a 1-3, but that's pretty terrible. Let's go the Emperor Cobra. Taunt's nice. I do like the Stormpike Commando, though. It's pretty easy to two for one for it. For it. Uh, take out a two coster. And then it does four damage. So it can kill a lot of things. At the same time, it has very low health, so almost any removal spell will kill it. But I do quite like it. All right, let's go with this engine. It's a nice taunt. 
All right. Uh, Whirlwind would be nice if I had a lot of enraged creatures. However, I'm 12 cards in and I have none. So let's not take that. In a rage. Hmm. No, I, I might as well. I mean, with this sort of a selection, I might as well go with the Cruel Taskmaster. Because the the Cruel Taskmaster is literally the same effect as Inner Rage. Deal one damage to a minion and give it plus two attack. Except you also get a minion with it. Of course, it costs two mana versus zero, but still, I think it's just better. The same effect, the same utility. But you also actually get something on the board. Let's go with that. Can be used to buff your creatures and trade up, or it could be used to uh, to kill a very weak enemy. It's nice. Um, I've got three four costers. One five coster. Let's go to the Silverhand Knight. Damn good card. These are all good. They really are all good. Ventrico, if you can get him out on turn 4 or 5, can be very nasty. Fairy Dragon's good. Shattered Sun Cleric is also good. Hmm. Go to Ventrico. Alright, to Battle Rage, do I want a second one? I don't know if I do. Should I have two Battle Rages? Is that too much card draw? I think that's too much. It's probably too much. Urban Squire or Jungle Panther? Hmm. I have no one costers. On the other hand, Jungle Panther is quite nice. Yeah, let's go with the Jungle Panther. Lepernum's a damn good one drop. I don't have any silence. I don't want the Stone Tusk Boar. That'd be more useful for a hunter deck. So, silence or a nice one drop. That's pretty much. I mean, if you can play it early, it's pretty much guaranteed to do 4 damage. Well, I mean, no, well... Ah, I shouldn't say that. No, that's not true at all. It, but it, it is pretty much guaranteed to do 2 damage. Unless, for some reason, someone's insane and wants to silence a Leper Gnome, which is... pretty batshit insane, so I don't think that would happen. Uh... I don't know, like, anytime I get Iron Beak Owl, I tend to just not need it when I get it. So I'm thinking Leper Gnome. Hmm... How much removal do I have? I have the Fiery War Axe, which isn't really removal. Cru uh, Cruel Taskmaster, which is very, very weak removal. And that's it. Let's go slam. Do I want another Leopard Gnome? Nah, let's go with Rogue Strike. Okay. Sunwalker. Ooh. Priestess of Elune, hell no. Stormy Knight or Spiteful Smith. Both are good. Spiteful Smith is a very solid creature. 4-6 for 5. And with the Enrage, I could be very, very good if I have my weapon out. But at the moment, I only have one weapon. Stormy Knight is also pretty easy to 2 for 1 with it. How many 4 costers do I have? 3. How many 5 costers do I have? 3. Hmm. Let's go with the Storm and Night. Ooh, these are all pretty good. I'm thinking Stranglethorn Tiger. They really want me to have a Silver Hand Knight, don't they? Rage Leader, eh, no thanks. Let's go with the Harvest Golem. Alright. Voodoo Doctor, no. Do I want more two costers? One, two, three, four, five. I have five. Yeah, I want more. 
Whirlwind. Once again, no, no real enraged creatures on which to use it. In fact, I don't really like any of these right now. I think a 5-4 taunt's not very good. It's just too... it's too weak. Darkscale healer, I guess? It can be good. To be honest, when I play it, I... It, like, I usually don't have anything to actually really heal. At least nothing on the board, obviously. It heals my character, but healing your hero, too, is not very useful. Eh, it's the best option, I guess. Another heroic strike? Maybe. I don't know, spell damage is really not going to do much for me right now. It'll upgrade my heroic strike and my slam. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. Mm, let's go with the heroic strike. I'm going to be punching a lot of things in the face, I think. Ooh, I have a lot of 5 costers. I definitely don't want another 5 coster. Let's go with the 2 coster. <laughs> I've got a mountain on the 2 costers. Look at that. Holy crap. That is a freaking mountain. How many do I have now? I mean, a lot of these are just not minions, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 7. Hmm. That's a lot. I think I need bigger stuff. 2, 3, 4... I have 4 3 costers. Another Harvest Golem? Let's go with another Harvest Golem. They're good. Ooh, okay. Do I really want a third Heroic Strike? I don't really want any of this. I really don't want any of this. I mean, a 2-1 with charge for 2? It's basically a suicide creature. A Wind Fury creature that's almost guaranteed to die? Well, hey, I could Cruel Taskmaster it. Deal 1 damage and give it plus 2 attack. Oh, yeah, it would die. I... I guess a third Rogue Strike? I... I don't know. I guess I'm going to be punching a lot of things in the face. And this is my final card. Bloodsail Corsair, absolutely not. Manorath, absolutely not. Hello, Knife Juggler. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a weird deck. I didn't get a single cleave. I didn't get a single... Amani Berserker. Or Torn Warrior. Or Raging Worgen. I only got one weapon. I... what do I make of this? I don't have much taunt. I suspect this is a very bad deck. I made myself a faceless manipulator. Congratulations! Just look out. Next time he enters his room, he might see himself sitting at his computer. A copy. So again, taunt. I know I have the Senjin Shield Master. Is that it? I don't have any Defenders of Argus, which I really would have liked. Okay, wh what do I have? What are my strengths? I have a lot of two costers. I have a lot of heroic strikes, so I'm going to have a lot of reach, even if I don't have a weapon. <laughs> battle. I just realized Battle Rage was the only card draw card I was offered. Right? I don't think I was offered a single Loot Hoarder or... Uh, what's the... The 2-4? That also draws a card? Whatever. Uh, no Mission Venter. Yeah. I have some fairly large scary stuff. Not not huge costers, but you know, pretty powerful stuff. Silverhand Knight, Stormpike, Mando, Strength of Thorn, Tiger, Venture Co. Sunwalker. I don't know, I'm not too happy with this. I really thought I would have been offered another... another weapon. So, if I get offered that weapon on my first... 
Uh, on the cards that I draw to begin with, I'm going to keep it, definitely. It's really important that I have that weapon, especially to combo with the... Whatever the pirates are. They gain attack based on the attack of your weapon. I see we're both going to be punching each other in the face. Or punching minions in the face, that is. Hmm, cruel taskmaster. Nah. Do I want that early? Maybe. Eh, why not? That's not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Coin River Crocolisk and then Cruel Taskmaster next turn. <laughs> to potentially kill a weak enemy of theirs or to buff up my River Crocolisk. With the Cruel Taskmaster, I mean. You're going to punch me in the face, aren't you? Okay. Well. Let's get some damage out. I'm going to ride the croc train. Right. Jungle Panther or Harvest Golem next turn. Hmm. I see. That is a bit awkward for me. That is very awkward. I'd have to sacrifice both of... What the? Why did you... Why would you do that? So you can kill it next turn, I guess? Huh. Anyway, yeah, I wish I had a weapon right about now. Really do. Really, really do. Alright, so they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna use their Scarlet Crusader to kill that, and then they're gonna kill that with their face. Hmm. I could jungle Panther to keep it safe, and then hope I have a way to deal with this later. Or I could harvest golem. I know I'm gonna do that. Uh, which one's better? I'm not sure if that one's better. Like, this would just die. It would get four damage to their face if that's what I wanted to use it for, and then it would die to their Scarlet Crusader. This can die to the Scarlet Crusader, but then it's also going to come back. As a 2-1. Oh no! That combo in Arena. In Arena! Do you know how hard that is to get? Holy crap! Well played, I'm impressed. To get those cards and actually have them playable. Damn! I don't think I have a single way to kill that damn thing. Hmm. Four damage. Four damage. I can't. I can't kill it. Hmm. Okay, do I get my Jungle Panther out so that after it takes down my Harvest Golem, I can just suicide my Jungle Panther into it? Or do I play both of my Blood Cell Raiders? Keeping in mind, I can only take down one thing at one time. They can only take down one thing at one time. Four, five, six... They killed that. I don't like any of these options. The good thing is, they're very low on health. I 
I'm not sure what the best play was there. Like, I could have played my Dark Iron Dwarf to buff this, and then if they killed this, they would take 4 damage and have 2 left, and then I could Storm and Knight it. Then my Storm and Knight would die. Or they might have attacked my Dark Iron Dwarf and stayed alive with 2 health, and then I could have Storm and Knighted it. Uh, I could have Jungle Panthered, and then they would have used it against my Harvest Golem, and then I'd suicide my Jungle Panther. Like, I don't see any good options. Are you going to go for the face? No. Okay. Please give me something here that I can work with, please. Alright. I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. If only I had one more mana. What now? Right. I could Dark Iron Dwarf one of these things, get it up to four, do two dam- No, that what doesn't work. Now? Yeah, I sacrifice two creatures, and then- No. <sighs> okay. We're gonna do this. That hurt. That hurt a lot. They have a lot more cards. And now I don't have so much health. Because I just took 12 damage. 8 to the face, and then 4 to the face. The second one being of my own action. Don't mess with Tusk. Don't mess with Tusk. Hmm. That's 6 damage on the board. Not particular. Ooh, hello. Okay. Hmm. Alright, punch one of them in the face. Then what? Lots of damage to the face. It's all gonna die. Undoubtedly. I have five damage with my weapon and my Storm and Knight. Unless I get a taunt up, it's pretty much GG if I get a heroic strike. Because 4 plus 3 is obviously 5, 6, 7. And of course, I could always storm and knight as well. Right, so they could trade one of their boars for my 4 1. Maybe I shouldn't have buffed that, I'm not sure. Alright, that's not a taunt, which is good for me, and you only have 2 mana, so you're probably not going to play a taunt. Use your 2-3 to take out my 4-2. Wait a minute, did they just lose? I don't... Unless they have something in their hand, I'm pretty sure they can't. Like, they can kill this, but then at least 4 damage on the board combined with my weapon is 5-6-7. Do they have something in hand? Is there anything that costs 0 that could save them? Well played. For the king. For I'm actually surprised I won that. 
with a hand, I mean, a, a deck that I'm not particularly happy with, not to mention against a rogue, which is... tends to be one of the best classes in Arena, I think, at least for me. I don't want those, do I want my youthful brewmaster? It is a 3-2, which, you know, isn't bad. It'd be nice to use its combo for something. But you don't have to. I'll keep it. Hmm, not bad. Ember Cobra's not really something you want this early, but... Greetings, friend. <laughs> Greetings. The light protects me. Hmm. Right, well, I think this is a Blood Sail Raider situation. Because she can actually survive two hits of that, whereas my youthful brewmaster would not. Well, they could sacrifice both of their cards next turn to kill it. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Hold on. You know, that might have been a bad idea. They might play like a flame tongue totem or something. Now that I think about it, should I be controlling the board or going for the face? Hmm. I'm thinking, do I return that to my hand so I can use it later when I maybe have a weapon? Or do I just Emperor Cobra? I just Emperor Cobra. Because that means practically anything they put on the board now is just going to die. Whereas the Youth for Brewmaster only gains me the possibility of playing that card later when I have a weapon, of which I only have one. Oh. Oh. Wouldn't it be funny if by face tanking an Ember Cobra you died? Since it kills any minion? <laughs> any minion that attacks it? That'd be funny. Hmm. I could battle rage for one card. Whoop de doo. I could slam to remove a one two and not even draw a card, which is terrible. <laughs> I could put on my youthful brewmaster to die. The hell else do I do? Got to put something out. At least it'll take three damage. It's a three damage uh, attack spell that costs two to the hero. I mean, that's what's going to happen. I'm not going to combo it with anything later, and I need to go through the sword, the axe, so might as well use it up. Huh, not going to combo it. Well, I guess I could have. With the knife juggler, I mean. Hmm. Playing that now doesn't make a lot of sense. It would die to the sword. What now? I'm just gonna Sunwalker next turn. Cause that won't die to everything they have on the board. Put this apple on your head. Handle it! Holy shit!
Okay. We need to put a stop to this right about now. Hmm. Okay. I'm not going to be sunwalking here. Or should I? Maybe I should. What's the worst that happens if I sunwalker? Okay, they hit in the face. They take four damage. They pop a shield. And then they need to use their knife juggler plus one of their other minions, and they're left with a 2 2 and a 2 2. Or they could use one of their minions to kill it, and then they have to use... So they're going to be left with either two minions on the board? Or one, if they pop the Divine Shield with one of their minions. Maybe that's a better play than all this other stuff. Maybe. I don't, like, I could do lots of crazy stuff. I could Knife Juggler, and then I could Cruel Taskmaster, one of, like... The 2-1, I could slam the 2-2. Two, two. Okay, then. Or that could happen. Ah, ah, ah. Well, fuck me. I think I just lost. Yeah, I mean, if they had a removal spell of some sort like they just did, that would happen. Whereas if I did the stuff in my hand, uh... Yeah, they couldn't... They couldn't undo it. Hmm. Right. Well, this thing's a prime target. Since it is giving them a 4 damage buff. I wonder. Night Juggler or Cruel Taskmaster? Put this apple on your head. Back to work. Alright. Could have acidic swamp boost, I guess. That might have been better. Get rid of the weapon. I would have gotten rid of the weapon, but I would have saved... Uh, would have left a 1-1 one, one on the board. Hmm. Probably would, have been a, probably would have been a better play. Yeah, now they're probably going to take out my knife juggler. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Well, there's only five damage on the board. That's a good thing. Right, I think my only hope in hell here is that they do some damage to a lot of my minions, and I battle rage and get a ton of cards. Otherwise, there's no way. So here's all my minions, please don't quite kill them. In fact, actually, this could work quite well, assuming they don't kill anything they ha I have, which is pretty unlikely, but I... You know, if it's all alive, I could use this and this to kill that, and that to kill the other taunt, which would leave me with four damage characters, and I could draw four cards. Hmm. 
What is that? Please don't be a flame tongue totem. Oh. Oh my god. <sighs> what class and how goes it? I was going pretty good, now it's not. Right. Uh, you insist. Is there anything that could save me? Is there literally anything that could possibly save me? Okay, what gives me some reach to do something? Storm Pike Commando and Heroic Strike. There's, there's absolutely no way. Well My first game, I won against a rogue, and I lost against a shaman. Huh. If anything, I would have expected it to be expected it to be the other way around. Oh, a mage. All right, GG. I might as well just concede now. No, I'm just kidding. Hmm. Definitely not that. Battle Rage. It is my only card draw. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that, actually. Ventrico. Ventrico. Nah, it's probably just gonna get polymorphed. Whatever. All right, hopefully they, tar they start taking pot shots at me or my creatures, so then I can battle rage. Come on, you know, yeah, you know you want to do it. Now just hit me in the face, and then I'll be happy. Drawing cards yourself? Okay. Hmm. So this gets me two damage on the board. This gets me three. This is a guaranteed kill against anything it hits that it does damage to. Let's do this. They're going to have four mana, so they could play a Senjin Shield Master. Tezdingo. In which case, it will probably die. Wait, is it Tezdingo four or is it five? I think it's four. Hmm. So that's what I meant about uh, how they put the opponent in an awkward position. They know anything they play. Almost anything they could play that doesn't have, like, a Divine Shield will just die. Alright, they're stolen. Ooh, if only that did one damage to everything, I could get a sick Battle Rage. Alright. How do you like pressure? You think you can stop the Rage? The Rage will never stop. And I'm still out of Flame Strike range, and next turn I can do 8 damage. Never mind. Six damage. Oh god. I don't remember the mage secrets. What do the mages have? I don't know what they have. What, what do they have? Like, mirror entity, right? That's one. Alright, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, that's fine. Whatever. Whatever. 
Hmm. I'll be saving up for a flame strike, just waiting for me to play stuff on the board that's gonna die easily. Which, with what I have on the board at the moment, yeah, it's pretty much all gonna die. But they're not to seven mana yet, so I have one turn to play around before they kill everything I have. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's... Oh, I'm not even hurt myself, actually. It's not gonna be a great battle rage. Two cards. I really suspect they're gonna flame strike. They might not have it, but... Battle Rage for two cards and don't get anything on the board. That doesn't seem worth it. And I want to have cards to play with. Like, I'm not desperate. But of course, when you are desperate, you probably can't really play Battle Rage because all your minions are dead. Truth is my Come on. Flame Strike. You know you want to. Do it. Or Polymorph and Ping. They seem to have a lot of control. Fireball? Oh. Okay, this is looking like a good situation to draw cards. Okay, now is the time to draw cards. Five. Uh, five, six, seven. I wonder if I should still expect a flame strike and not really play much. I could knife juggler and razor fan hunter. 50 chance, 50% 50 chance of hitting that, which would allow my sunwalker to just kill it in one hit. Or instead of using the knife juggler, I could use heroic strike. And then sacrifice something against it. Hmm. Justice shall prevail. Could have stormed by command, dude. Holy crap. Uh. Colossal failure! I waited too long. The fuck even just happened? I think it just wasted a lot of damage. Are you gonna flame strike and just ruin all my plans? Yeah, okay. I'm glad I got that off the board then. I'm doing fine on minions. I'm doing fine on minions. No doubt about that. Alright, Sunwalker might get polymorphed at this point. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. I want to get this out there because it can't be polymorphed or anything because it's stealth. There's no reason to get the Sunwalker out at the moment. There's nothing to protect. Put this apple on your head. One damage to your face. How does it feel? Yeah, I totally messed up that last turn. Wow, I, I took way too long. Oh, that's a good trade. Way too long. Alright, my Sunwalker. Oh, God. The Sunwalker, which if I summon it, might give you a Sunwalker. Hmm. Hmm. doesn't work. That doesn't work. How do I pop this thing? What is it? Alright, it might be mere entity. 
Hmm. It might be mere entity. Let's find out. All right, you can have that. That's fine. Polymorph. Oh, probably gonna pop it. Ooh, I got lucky. I gonna sacrifice both minions? You probably have some damage in hand, right? Okay. I see. Hmm. Right. I have 10 damage in hand. Ho hold on, hold on, hold on. I might have lethal. 5, 6, 7, 8. I can play all of it. I might have lethal. Let me check. Okay, so I killed that. That dies. It leaves me with 5, 6, 7 damage. I can do... 17 damage? Are you kidding me? I can do 17 damage. Right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fuck. Okay. Um. Hold on. Slam it to. Uh, do that to. That leaves me with eight plus. Wait, no, I think I can do it. Ooh. I did have it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God, I did have it. My heart is racing so fast. Wow. Okay. I was, uh, I was too stuck with playing the... Whatever the five coster that did two damage was. The Stormpike Commando, Commander. When I realized I didn't have to play him. I could just play the slam and then use my two damage to kill that. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and that was fun. That was exciting. Yeah, those heroic strikes really do give you a lot of reach. They really do lie to kind of get lethal, even with leaving stuff on the board. If you just take out their taunts, use your other minions to punch them in the face, you can get quite a bit of reach. Garrosh versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! Victory or death! Ooh. That is quite nice, Knife Juggler. Coin Knife Juggler and then Fiery War Axe to kill whatever they put out. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I mean, my whole plan's laid out here. I greet you. Coin Knife Juggler, Fiery War Axe. Then Jungle Panther. To proc it and punch something in the face. Then Sengen Shield Master. That's a nice opening hand. And all of it's ruined. Now what the hell do I play? <laughs> do I get my axe out? Hmm. I'm gonna bank on them not having a, a news because it's arena. If this is constructed, I would not do that. But it's not. Alright, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Do 
Do I just heroic strike that? It did destroy one of their mana crystals. Alright, so there goes most of their value from that. They destroyed one of their mana crystals and only accomplished using up one of my cards, one of my durability, and taking three health. Right, so I'm going to punch that in the face. Do I Silver Moon Guardian? Jungle Panther and Leper Gnome. I should do that. If they want to attack, they have to run themselves into a wall, only do one damage and die. So either they're going to use the spell power boost to probably take it out, or they're just going to run it into it to get the card. Spell power boost. Oh, yeah, now they're going to run it into it, get the bonus. Which makes sense. But yeah, I mean, they have one mana, there's really not much they could play. Oh, they're, they want to keep it. Okay. Cruel Taskmaster could kill it. Okay, so I could kill that right away with my Senjin, then I could Cruel Taskmaster that, which would leave me... Hold on, I had to take care of some melons. There we go. Which, <laughs> which would leave me with three mana, I could play the Jungle Panther or the Harvest Golem. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh. That is a really weak play. They must be pretty desperate to have nothing to combo that with. I'm probably just going to ignore it. Yeah, why attack it? Can just kill it with my 2-1 next turn. If it does attack and kill my Sengen. Which I know is 2 for 1, but it does do 2 damage to the enemy hero. Unless they're gonna buff it to something crazy. Nope. Ooh. Right, so this is going to happen. Might as well do that. I don't want to run all three of my things into that. Why? Alright, so I'm four, I'm four damage short. I was just saying I'm four damage short, and I got that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. GG.
<laughs> My soul shall suffer. Daily quest complete. All right, three one. I'm already happy. As always, as long as I get to three wins, I'm at least fairly happy. I've, you know, I've at least hit the mediocre line. If I don't go over that, I'm not ecstatic, but I'm not disappointed either. And if I just get ten more gold, I can play another, another arena. I don't know. Do I want the Youthful Brewmaster? Maybe? No. Do I want two Blood Cell Raiders? Sure. Hmm. Alright. Well, the Bloodsail Raider would not be able to beat through the wall. I could Heroic Strike it. Why, yes, it is our town. <laughs> yeah, beat it! Do I have any AoE? Am I ever going to be, be able to get rid of that Blood Imp? I think it's going to stay on the board the whole freaking game. Hmm. I didn't expect that. Right, once again I can kill that with a heroic strike. Harvest Golem? I wonder. I don't like any of my options here. I don't have a mortal coil. Mortal coil. Mortal coil. Mortal coil. Mortal coil. Nah, they would have used it already. Oh my god. Fuck. Are you actually going to... Really? Huh? Okay. The Blitz of a Raider doesn't combo with that, right? Because it's not actually a weapon. You know what? I was gonna play it anyway, so let's find out. Yeah, I didn't think so. Now, do I take out the health bonus or the damage bonus? Let's take out the health bonus. Well 
Yeah, because at the moment that's only buffing one thing, and that one thing, if it attacks anything I have, will die. So it's functionally useless. Oh my god! Is that all you have? Alright. So apparently for rogue uses a betrayal. So apparently for rogue uses a betrayal on an Emperor Cobra, its ability of instantly killing anything it hits also transfers to this. Whoa, really? What's happening on the board? Its ability of instantly killing anything it hits also trans I had no idea. That is really neat. I wonder if that's intended or just a bug. Oh yeah, I'm playing a game. What am I doing? Hmm, I get lots of small stuff out. Alright, so I'm probably gonna trade. Oh, Jesus. I need AoEs, but I just don't have any. Shame I had to learn that on the receiving end. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hmm. Right, kill you and spam. Eat my spam. It is delicious. Go on. Attack with them. See what happens. Seriously, that gives anything they play gets plus two health. I mean, oh my god. I, have no, I don't think I have a way to remove that. Jesus. God help me. What do I do? Hmm. Like, what the hell do I do here? Four, five, six. All right, three, four, five, wow, okay. I stuck at a trade well. Whatever. Oh, fuck. God damn it, I played that wrong. Fucking hell. I was gonna storm a knight and then get it back, but now it's gonna die when it attacks it. Fuck! I can't even- God. For the king. For honor. If I had any hope of winning the game before, I just fucking threw it. Jesus Christ. I was going over that in my mind, getting the order down correctly, and then I just did it the exact wrong order. Those creatures were going to die anyway, so I was going to attack my Storm of Night first, and then sack them, and then get it back with the youthful Brewmaster and use it again next turn. And now everything's ruined. That, that is such a colossal mistake. If I had a flame what I would do for a flame strike. I would do a lot of things for a flame strike.
There's no point in playing the useful brewmaster. It's gonna die and not accomplish anything. I could I could attack with this to the face and then bring it back and play it again. I guess. It always pains me to have to take out a card because I need certain things like taunt and card draw. Yeah, I've already lost. It's just taking a long time to get to it. Hmm. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They have twelve damage on the board. What now? Yeah, going for the face is never going to work. Not right now. Four, five, six, seven. Plus seven is fourteen. Even with a heroic strike. 15, 16, 17, 18. No. Then again, is it my only shot? I wonder. It might be... That might be my only shot. If I go for the stuff they have on the board, there's no way I'm going to win. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. They need to life tap. If they life tap, and I get a heroic strike, I could win. If I attack the stuff on the board, there's no way. None. I don't have a brawl or anything like that that could bring me back from this. That's the only way I could win, is if they take damage. They need to take two damage. Nope. No way. Never gonna happen. Is that GG? No. <laughs> Damn close, though. Oh, look! Oh my god, there's my heroic strike. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <sighs> well played. Well played. Thank you, although I don't think it was on my part. I royally, royally messed up by playing something in the wrong order. I might have, maybe, could have had that if I didn't mess up. Major misplay. I think I should keep it all. Well, except that. Four cost just not bad. Four that's right on the verge, four coster. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Oh, not bad at all. Not bad. Right, so next turn when they get out their mage weapon, I'm gonna play my acidic swamp ooze and get rid of it. Yeah. That's the plan. It's the mages that have a gore howl, right? That's a mage weapon. Hmm. Hmm. I also want a heroic strike that. But what's the point? Heroic Strike, I use a card and I keep a minion on the board. Or I sacrifice a minion and get another minion on the board. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna save it. Do you hear that? 
Do you hear that sound? That's the sound of a distant flame strike coming. It sounds like a thousand souls burning. Flaming. Waiting to strike. What to do? What to do? Which is why on turn five, I'm probably gonna get my Venture Co out and attempt to hit them with a lot of damage before they flame strike. Of course, it's probably gonna get polyed, but. Well, I know what I'm about to kill. I guess we're just gonna keep trading minions. Or, once again, I could do that same thing again, but, um, no. Right, well, we're sitting pretty evenly at this point. Exactly evenly. In fact, we're exactly even. Trading minions, same amount of cards, nobody's done any damage. Good Dark Iron Dwarf to give my little crocky some... Okay. Hmm. Alright. Let's do this first. Alright, so it might be Mirror Entity. In fact, does that mean it's definitely Mirror Entity? Are there any others? Well, there's Counterspell. Hmm. Like, I'm not just going to play nothing just because they have it out, so... Mirror Entity? No, it... What the hell is it? Okay, there's like Ice Barrier and Ice Block. I forgot which is which. One gives you 8 armor when you're attacked. Another one prevents you from dying that turn, makes you invulnerable. There's Mirror Entity. There's Counterspell. Mm, are there more secrets? So I'm thinking it's either Counterspell or the one that makes you invulnerable. And I doubt most people take Counterspell in Arena, so it's probably the one that makes you invulnerable. Ah, what a perfect time to play that. That's why I like it. Often twos for one. Uh, t often twos for one. Two for ones, I mean. Or I could play Venture Co. Hmm. It's tempting. But it might just get polyed. And then I have a very unideal trade here. So, no. Alright, next turn, Flame Strike is probably going to come out. Which will kill everything I have. Fair enough. Hmm. Four damage, that's not enough. Yeah, I mean, if I play this, they can just pling it and then kill it with their Frost Elemental and not even die, so that's terrible. I'm just gonna play this. Something I love about my... Akkani? Soul Priest? Whatever. Soul Priest is how so many people don't seem to know what the card does. Uh, I... Oh, crap. I don't even... I don't even know what it does. And there's the poly, what do you know? Oh, is that the one that makes your heals, like, everything that heals does damage? I think it is. Hmm. Alright. Oh my god, I'm gonna use my sheep to kill that. That is gonna happen. <laughs> Pro 
probably kill that. Battle Rage is a bad play right now, I'd only get one card. Four, four five, six, seven. Done. Do I kill that with my rogue strike, or do I keep it for extra reach? I'm gonna keep it. What's the worst that could happen? They can only attack me, they can't attack my tiger. Even if they flame strike, they couldn't kill my tiger. Alright, so unless it's a counter spell, it's the one that prevents them from dying. I have 9 damage on the board and in hand. So I can't pop- I need to pop that as soon as possible, because they're going to be invulnerable for the turn. I can't pop it this turn. I there's absolutely no way, so there's no point in trying to do that exactly. Um, hmm... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Kill that. Draw cards. It is counterspell. Okay, whew. That's good to know. I was gonna do this and this, but maybe I should just Sunwalker. No, it's gonna die to what they have on the board. Come on, come on, hit the 2 1, hit the 2. Oh, okay, fine. How goes it? And on another note, do my comments to you annoy you? Yes, they do. You shot the. F no, I'm just kidding. No, they don't. I'm a 3 2, right? Yeah. Well, that's not a smiley face. That's a smiley face. My board! It's okay, I've got a Sunwalker. Hmm. Pretty good chance I've got this. Feeling pretty good about this. Right, they both have the same damage and all that. What now? The Divine Shield might as well not exist, because they're just going to pop it off. But, it makes more sense to play this first, because doing that means I could heal it. Whereas if I play the Dark Scale Healer and then that, it's not going to heal the other way. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Or that could happen. Please don't have like a Boulder Fist Ogre. Oh, okay, that, that's not too bad. Right, so we're nearly in top decking wars here. Ooh. Alright, things are looking pretty good for me. I only need 8 damage to stick to the board for what I have in hand, and if I get another Heroic Strike, which isn't particularly unlikely. How many have I had so far? I think I've used one, so I have one more. Well, okay, if there's only one more, then getting one in 16 is actually pretty low of a chance.
deciding whether to go, to f to go for my face or what is that? Hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. That is a very good thing to have at a time like this. I shall keep my heroic strike. Basically in top decking wars now. Your magic shall not save you. Oh my god. It's it's okay though, it's still gonna kill the tiger. Hmm, that trades in nicely. With the uh, spellbreaker. Right, they're mm, since they're top decking, they're probably not going to give very many spells. So that's probably just going to sit there. Hmm. Well, if I deal one damage to that, it's going to die. So let's not do that. Do I just get this out on the board? Or do I keep it? It's just gonna die. Yeah, I might as well keep it. It's just gonna die. They're gonna use that to attack it, and then they're gonna hero power, and it's still gonna be alive. And my minion will be dead. So it's a damage potential is best saved in my hand for another minion. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Yeah, that doesn't really help. It's interesting. I could hero stroke strike it, and then I could cruel taskmaster to buff it, yield for brewmaster, and then cruel taskmaster again, which is freaking weird. Hmm. Fuck. If I play it, it's just going to get shredded. What now? I almost think I have to do that. Like, I need to kill that. There's only five damage on the board, six damage in total, and I've got quite a bit of health, so I'm going to save it, because it's not really going to do much. It's going to burn all my cards and just kill a 4-2. Like okay, hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. What now? Don't mess with us. Speak with me, friend. Don't mess with Tusker. Things deal with my things. Or if you have Pyroblast, I'm dead. And if I leave a single thing on the board, I can get two more damage out of it.
I just realized I don't even have a Warsong Commander. Ugh. I really don't like this deck. No Warsong Commander, only one weapon. No Enraged Creatures. Okay. Okay, oh, that's... Wait a minute. Can you target your own stealth creature? Can you target your own stealth creatures? I don't know if you can. Well, whatever, I need to play it anyway. If they have flame strike, I'm done for. Like, I need... I need my other... I need this to live, and I need my other heroic strike. And I have ten cards from which to get it. What have you got? What have you got? I don't think you can target your own stealth creatures. I'm pretty sure they're untargetable. Like, just straight up. Okay, I can survive one more turn with what's on the board. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna help me. Definitely. That will absorb that and our hero power. If I attack with it, it's just going to die. What now? Mm. Please don't be like a Torn warrior, or I mean, a uh, Sunwalker. I mean. Something nasty and big and taunty. Hmm. Wait. If you... Oh, no, that... Yeah, that was the best play. Or is it? Let's see. Do that. Do that. Six, seven, eight, nine. They would have had nine damn... Yeah, they couldn't have killed me. I was thinking maybe they had lethal. But no. We must cleanse I need my other heroic strike. I need my other heroic strike. Like, right now. This, this is the last turn. This is it. Right here. If I pull Battle Rage, which I've already used, so I can't pull that. Heroic Strike. Come on. Nine cards. Nine cards. <sighs> There's no way, right? I can't use that on that. Oh, you can. I can still only do 10 damage, though. So, uh, yeah. That was a close game. Well that was really, really, really close. That was a fun game. That was fun. I like it when they go on for a long time. You're kind of evenly matched and just plinking each other down and... Yeah. Alright, 3-3. Three, three. It's respectable. Nothing to celebrate, but nothing to be ashamed of. I really wasn't happy with that deck, so that does not surprise- I'm actually surprised I got the three wins. No worse on Commander. No or almost no Enrage. One card draw card. Yeah. No, there's enough gold to do another arena. Let's see what's in the back. Alright. Well, hopefully everyone enjoyed, and I will be back soon with more arena runs.